Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States has a very large influence in the chip industry and many top technologies. Suppliers and patents are almost all from the United States. Chips are a necessity in a modern society and the cornerstone of technological development. Many countries have begun to attach importance to the development of the chip field, from talent reserves to markets, to industrial chain infrastructure, and use various methods to participate in industry competition. It would be fine if you use conventional means of competition to participate in it. Healthy competition can better promote development and progress. However, if unconventional methods are used to restrict the development of the semiconductor industry in other countries and confuse the market, such behavior is not advisable. From the beginning to the end, the United States has not given up its attention to the chip industry. From semiconductor equipment to chip patents, to various chip products, almost all of them have set shipping rules. In addition, the United States has reached agreements with the Netherlands and Japan on lithography systems. ASML issued a special statement stating that the agreement will take some time to implement and is not expected to affect performance and revenue in 2023. On the second day after the United States, Japan and the Netherlands reached an agreement, good news came from China, showing the trump card of quantum computers. The chip industry is paying more and more attention to the development of Moore's Law. According to Moore's Law, the number of transistors that an integrated circuit can accommodate can continue to increase, but the reality is that it is becoming more and more difficult to increase the transistor density, and process breakthroughs are slow. If the chip manufacturing process reaches one nanometer, it may be difficult to go further. In the next 10 years, it is still unknown to what extent the human chip civilization will develop and whether it can make greater progress. But it is necessary to carry out innovative development research. Based on the advantages of traditional chips, the United States allows other countries to stand with itself and has currently reached an agreement with the Netherlands and Japan. However, New chips are the future, and America's behavior in the traditional chip market will only be complacent. Not only will it do no good, but it will also make American companies suffer, just like Intel's revenue decline and Seagate's global layoffs. All in all, the chip industry needs to look forward. After the United States, Japan and the Netherlands reached an agreement my country showed a quantum computer trump card. According to authoritative media reports, on January 31, the first quantum chip production line in China started construction in Hefei, Anhui. My country's latest quantum computer, Wukong, will land here and will also complete the mass production of quantum chips, which will be officially unveiled soon. The original quantum company is responsible for the construction of the production line. What kind of quantum computer will this company develop? According to reports, the Wukong quantum computer is mainly used for engineering operations, and it is equipped with the Wukong core quantum chip for applications. The performance of the Wukong quantum chip exceeds 64 bits. In terms of production capacity, the original quantum can produce hundreds or thousands of quantum chips every year. As for quantum computers, the data released by Origin Quantum is that two devices will be sold in 2022. In the production line of the original quantum layout, 
The introduction of 24 quantum chip production equipment has been completed. In addition, 1500 batches of tape out products have been produced. On the whole, this production line is already exporting quantum chip products for the country. Regarding the application direction of quantum computers, I believe it is also a concern of many people. Traditional computers use binary algorithms. The performance of the chip determines the computing power, and the computing speed for solving complex problems is limited. The quantum computer has a huge advantage in computing power. The nine chapters, quantum computer prototype developed by Professor Pan Jianwei of the University of Science and Technology of China broke Google's quantum superiority. It is billions of billions of times faster than the world's fastest supercomputer, which is a very high level. However, the Wukong quantum computer has not yet been applied in practice, so in terms of popularity, there is a gap between Google's plain quantum computer prototype and Professor Pan Jianwei's nine chapters. But in terms of bit parameter indicators, Wukong may be even better. From this perspective, once the Wukong quantum computer comes out, it will bring a new pattern to the field of domestic quantum computing and become the latest generation of leading quantum computers in China. Play a role in engineering, artificial intelligence, and medical industries. Help people in the industry solve complex computing problems and provide basic scientific research support for researchers. So can the Wukong quantum computer achieve corner overtaking? This question actually needs to be explained from several aspects. In terms of practical application, the Wukong quantum computer does not have the conditions for popular use, and there is a strong commercial threshold. Origin Quantum's research and development of the Wukong quantum computer definitely needs a return, Otherwise, what's the point of investing so much money? That being the case, who will pay for the Wukong quantum computer is undoubtedly a question that needs to be focused on. It may be a domestic scientific research institution or a technology company, but no matter what, someone will pay for it, and commercial deployment is the key. However, from the perspective of scientific research itself, the significance of the Wukong quantum computer is of great significance, and it may realize overtaking in curves. Origin Quantum has self-developed many supporting equipment for the Wukong quantum computer production line, involving large and small core technologies. If these technologies can be continuously promoted and applied to give full play to their advantages in the larger field of quantum semiconductors, not only the original quantum company, but also other industry partners can benefit from it. Over time, a complete ecosystem is formed. With the participation of many suppliers and technology companies, China's quantum computer industry may enter a new era.